Hello everyone! In today's video, I am going to be showing you how I created this cherry inspired makeup look. So without further ado, let's just get started. I'm going to be starting off with Correct and Contour Kit by Technique. I'm going to be using the lightest concealer and just conceal my veins and my dark circles around my eyes. This will make a great base before the eyeshadows. Then I'm going to be using this PS eyeshadow palette. I'm going in with this deep red color and I'm going to place that in the crease. And then I'm going to blend really well so there's no hard. I'm also going to bring this color a little bit underneath my eye as well just to bring it all together. Next up I'm using a dark grey shade. I'm going to place a tiny bit of this in the outer corners of my eyes just to create some dimension and depth. Then I'm going in with this bright red color from Stargazer. I'm going to apply this with a blending brush in the outer corner and the inner corners of my eyes. I'm not going to be placing this on the center of the eyelid because there I'm going to be placing a brighter color there so I'm just blending around the center of the eyelid like so. Then I'm going to go in with a red orange shimmering color. I'm going to place that on the center of the eyelid and then I'm just going to blend them really nice together. Underneath my eyes, I'm going to be doing the same as I did on the top of my eyelids. I'm going to be starting off with this bright red color from the inner corner and outer corner towards the middle and then using the shimmering eyeshadow in the center underneath my eyes. Next up is the Big Eyes Eyeliner by Maybelline New York. I'm going to be using the white one just to fill in my lower waterline to make my eye appear a little bit bigger and brighter. Next step is the Infallible Paints Eyeliner by L'Oreal. I'm just going to fill in my eyeliner kinda as I always do but this time I'm going to place it as close to the lash line as possible because I don't want the eyeliner to take away all the attention from the red and bright eyeshadows. I'm also bringing my wing kind of down instead of like a cat eye which goes upwards because this is just a style I like. And then I'm going in with my Colossal Big Shot Mascara. I'm going to apply that on my upper and my lower lashes. For the eyebrows, I'm going in with the Nib and Fab Eyebrow Pencil. This is a shade Natural Brown. I'm going to fill them in as I usually would do it, just to make them look as naturally as possible. So I'm filling in the empty spots and just brushing it through, and that will give them a natural look. So the final step for the eye makeup is to highlight my brow bone and to highlight the inner corners of my eyes. I will be telling you which highlighter I'm using later because I just forgot to insert a clip right here, but... Yes, this is the finished eye makeup you guys and let's move over to the skin. For the skin, I'm going to be mixing two of my favorite foundations. I'm using Clean Finish by Rimmel London and Dream Satin Liquid by Maybelline New York. I'm mixing them both together on my hand to get the perfect match for my skin tone and with a damp beauty blender I'm just going to spread that evenly all over my face. And yes you guys, if you see my mouth moving at all during this tutorial, I am singing. Yes, I am. <clears throat> yes, let's just get back to the tutorial. Now it's time for some blusher, and for this part I'm going to be using my Cushion Blusher from Holika Holika. I'm just going to place that on the apples of my cheeks and work my way up, because that's um, what I like to do, <laughs> and the style I'm going for. This will create a more adult look. If I just place it on the cheeks, it I will appear a lot younger, but because this is look because this look is more dramatic, I thought this would be a perfect way to apply it. 
and then we're gonna do some contouring. I'm going to be using my Face Sculpture Palette by H&M, and I'm going to be using this darkest shade, and I'm just gonna place that in the hollows of my cheeks to create some more dimension and color to my face. Then I'm going to be using the highlighter from the same palette. This is also the one I used on my eyes. With my finger, I'm going to place it on the top of my cheekbones and on the tip of my nose, as I always do, because I really like that. So, yeah. I'm also going to place that on the top of my upper lip, because I have really small upper lips, so this will just highlight it and make it appear bigger. The final step is the lips. Here I'm using Velvet Lip Cream by H&M. I think this color is called Screen Siren. I'm placing that all over my lips as good as I can. I'm not really an expert in lips, so yes. We have one more step to go. This is optional, but to make sure my I, but to make sure my lips are dry, I'm just gonna do this and we're ready to go. Here I'm using the Infallible Paints Eyeliner once more. This is the white one. I'm just gonna be drawing on the iconic highlight of the cherry. This will give it a more cartoonic look, but I really liked it. It looks really fancy, so I did it. <laughs> and when that is done, we are actually all finished with this makeup look, you guys. This is how I did it. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you liked how this turned out. So that was really all I had for you guys today. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.